In this topic, after entering a stock count, you will learn how to release and validate a stock count session. Now, after entering the stock count information from your count sheet or recording results, which is in the stock module, in the counts block, and the counts function, here you select an entry transaction which can be customized to meet your needs. We'll go ahead and select the all full entry. And here we see our stock count session. You can see the session shows the stored site, stock count session number, the description, the count sheet, and the number of lines in a specific worksheet. Also, it shows the creation and allocation date and still says to be counted. However, if you look at the lines, it shows that each line of the product has already been counted. If we select on the left list, this is our session here, which shows the different sheets. This sheet here that's selected has been completely counted. The next thing you must do is you must unlock the inventory to allow for entry for your day-to-day -day processing for inventory or stock transactions. This is also called releasing. Of course, the physical count must be completed on that specific sheet, so you can actually record or release from one sheet only. You can release a line individually by selecting the action icon on the line and doing unlocking. You also can unlock the complete sheet itself by selecting release in the right panel, which we will do. Now, once released, you can no longer make changes to the information entered. Now, after releasing, the next step is to validate the entries, which will update the stock as well as post any necessary accounting entries. Now, accounts are validated by clicking the validation button here in the right panel. As you can see, the status for each line is changed to validated, as well as this particular sheet has changed to validated. Now, it is possible to validate only those products counted. The status of the individual row must be counted in order to validate it. Validated lines cannot be changed. However, you still can add lines to the stock count list. Now, the stock movements are written to the stock movements table under a specific type. You can review them using the stock movement inquiry by product or by date and requesting to display movements of that particular type, which is called miscellaneous. At the same time, the validation stock line also leads to the following updates. The stock count in process list for the product is deleted and the product blocked for stock count indicator is cleared. In the product site totals, the stock totals are updated as well as the stock at the last stock count information. The date is calculated for the next stock count if this is required at the level of the stock count session. The next step is to close and you can do this in the right panel. At the time of closing, the system reviews the lines in the stock count list. And as you can see, this particular list or sheet has changed to close. And finally, once a session is closed, you cannot add new lines. And if all the lines in the session are closed, the status session also changes to close. And this means the complete stock count session. And now you know how to release stock and validate a stock count session.